Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. How you doing? You coming outside or you can stay inside? <laughs> uh, Dutch is doing good, gang. Dutch is doing good. He's coneless right now. Uh, we put it on him at night because uh, we're all sleeping, of course. But during the day, he's always with us. He's always around us. And as you can see, he's a happy puppy. That's right. He thinks we're actually going for a ride because I grabbed the keys because I've got some cool to share with you guys. Today, Benny and I are gonna be putting some shelves together because we're moving into the shop. No, not really. We're gonna be moving into the loft of the shop, that's right. Um, now that we have the stairs done and pretty much everything else is done upstairs, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start putting together the shelving unit so we can get stuff out of the basement and we can start moving upstairs into the loft. We're not ready yet to get into the shop, of course, but if we can get stuff up in a loft and we clean up the house a little bit that's great because I got a lot of projects in there to do yet and then we're gonna start cleaning up the garage a little bit and get things up in a loft as well and make room for more work like drywall and a lot of little tedious things such as drywall backing um, there are some framing that we did and when you do frame you got to have areas for your drywall to attach and we have to fill in a couple of spots here and there so we're gonna do things like that but like I promised you, if someone sends me a flag, we're gonna showcase that on the video. And today is no exception. So I'm gonna get that out. Oh, and yes, I still use my drawer system. I love this drawer system. It's, it's been holding up really well. It's held up for the last couple of years. It's made thousands of miles and had a lot of stuff in it. And I still use my Atlas tool roll as well uh, that my buddy Greg gave me a few years back. And I figured that's going to be the perfect thing to do for having a small little kit up in the shop putting things together. But let's get inside the shop because I've got a surprise for you guys. And I'm really looking forward to putting this up. Let's get going. Okay, let's uh, first we're going to have to put my tool bag down. And I think we're going to have to kill that fan because it's a little loud in here. Oh, okay. So. I have an awesome gift that was sent to me uh, from not only someone that's a supporter of my channel, but the guy that's kind of responsible for kicking this all off to begin with. Many of you guys might know, maybe you don't because a lot of new people. About seven years ago, I came across a fellow whose name was Jeff Conte. Well, Jeff was a bit of a knife maker. His dad made some knives from time to time. Jeff made some knives too. He used to sell them and he did a pretty good job at it. Well, Jeff wasn't a knife maker full-time by trade. Jeff was in the Army. He served in the United States Army, not just as anything, but he was what they call an 18 Delta. That's right, he got his start as a Special Forces medic. Then he ended up retiring from the United States Army and uh, Special Forces and just kept making knives. Then a friend of ours got us together and Jeff taught me how to make my first knife. Then he pretty much mentored me through a lot of the times that I was learning to make more knives and getting things set up for the business. Fast forward now, seven years later, I'm here in Wyoming. Jeff's up in Montana. Jeff's enjoying retirement now. He no longer makes knives, and he just kind of takes it easy, taking care of the gopher problem up in Montana, and uh, just enjoying his grandkids. Well, Jeff went ahead and sent me something really special that I wanted to share with you guys. So, without further ado, I wanted to share this, guys. This is a flag that Jeff sent me and I am super excited to get it up there next to my blue line flag and really, really ecstatic. I did take a sneak peek of this because when he told me he was sending me a flag, I was wondering what kind of flag. And he says, he's pretty sure everybody's gonna kinda know what this flag is and what this is about. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the ladder and throw this flag up and share this with you. And again, thank you, Jeff. Thank you very much. This will fly in the shop with pride. So let's get it up. That is an amazing looking flag. Yes, oh yes, that is slick. That is slick indeed. Oh man, well again, thank you Jeff, and thank you to everybody else. 
That's gonna fly with pride. I'd be so happy to have that. It's gonna be super cool. I also got some messages. I know I've got at least one more or two more flags coming. So super excited about that. Super excited to share that with you. But now it's actually time to get to work. Ben's over here trying, waiting for me to get done vlogging and uh, get cracking. So let's put some shelves up, shall we? snap it all together you're good to go gotta have a mallet or a scrap piece of 2x12 laying around so you can hammer them together but looking good except for the fact that I just saw Ben put his last shelf in the wrong spot there I mean come on now kid uniformity I think somebody got something wrong <laughs> we'll straighten that one out but uh, this is gonna be super cool we're gonna be able to put all the wood across here now and a lot of the uh, handler material and the furs and stuff like that. Put them on these shelves across the top. And then we're gonna be able to line this wall all with the stuff like Christmas and uh, the homeschooling product and materials and projects the kids did throughout the last eight years. And then uh, a lot of the camping gear and stuff like that. Probably gonna get some hooks maybe and put some hooks across that two by 12 right there. And then we can actually hang the backpacks on that. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, we had a lot of back, uh, empty backpacks and suitcases. So we could also put something in the shelves right there. Uh, but super cool. So now the task is emptying the basement, carrying everything up here, getting it filled up and start making our home a home, start making a shop a shop. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> the ice so slow going on that one. All right guys, well, well, it took us three days to clean up the basement a little bit and get everything in that we wanted to get in. And man, the focus, I'm on auto again. Uh, got everything rocking and rolling, built up our shelves, got all that done, we actually had to go get another one and did that. Uh, my lav mic is actually charging in the house, so I apologize for the audio, uh, but we had to get a fifth one. We had four, had to buy a fifth shelf. So ready to go there. We got everything up here that we wanted to get up right now. So we have to finish cleaning up the basement. And now the next step is, is I gotta go ahead and I'm gonna start framing in downstairs all that drywall backing. Areas that you have to have two by four behind so you can screw the drywall up toward the ceiling or the walls. So I gotta get cracking on that while I'm doing that. Ben's down there putting together a welding cart uh, for our Hobart welder uh, that you guys saw in a few videos back when we worked on the trailer. But uh, yeah, pretty good to go. Sadly, that's all the wood I have. <laughs> I used to have a lot more wood, but some of it I gave away. Other stuff I just threw out because some of it just wasn't the best quality. I had it gifted to me, um, sent in big bulks, so I, I would chop it all up in pieces, keep the good stuff, and I would just kind of store the stuff that wasn't so good. So we got rid of all that. But I do have a good amount of wood right here, but I have been a little bit more particular about what I want. So I'm going to start shopping for some more stuff for 2022, and uh, excited about that one. But in the meantime, I'm going to go downstairs and start framing and get that stuff crack a lacking so uh i'll be right back
Oh, hey guys. Well, there we have it. Look at that. Oh, it's so cool to see drywall now, isn't it? That is so neat. Turn it down, I got a little bit of shine going. <laughs> oh, it looks so different. Boy, from the ground right here, it looks so small. But when you're up there, it looks so much bigger. But, oh, kids were a big help. Man, though, finally, stairs are in, landing's done, the loft is complete, railings are in there, got drywall. Oh, my goodness, I feel so happy. Super blessed, that's for sure. Uh, let me lighten you guys up here. It's so much darker now here in, in the, the shop, the wood shop, media wall behind me, and the wood shop right here, and the knife room right there. So really, really excited about all that. Uh, so I'm gonna, I gotta put a coat of tape on the outside. I'm gonna put a coat of tape out there and uh, kind of clean that up a little bit because I wanna make sure things are somewhat sealed because I gotta do spray foam in here. And there are some seams and some joints here and there that you can see right there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put tape on the inside, just like blue painter's tape or something, just to put along there so when I do spray foam it doesn't seep out and create a big mess out on the other side of the shop, out in the garage area. That's the biggest problem too, is I'm trying to get used to using the proper terminology. Uh, right now we're exiting the shop and we are in the garage. This is the garage, but the garage and the shop and the loft are in the building. So <laughs> keeps things a little bit more easy for all of us to understand because if somebody needs something and we say, oh, it's in the shop, we know that it's in there. It's in the garage, it's somewhere in here. It's a loft, it's up there. Now if I can just organize my, my train of thought and my chaos that's going on right now in my head, I'd really like to do that. Uh, let's see what else to say, but I do appreciate it guys. Thank you for all the support um, Many of you guys know uh, the last live I did um, Wasn't a very it was good positive stuff, but wasn't Super super positive because of some of the things happening matter of fact at the making of this video We're wrapping up this video which you guys are watching right now and it's we're just recording it at the end of the other video that we had troubles with the stairs, the flag, that kind of stuff. Um, and well, as of right now, it still isn't uploaded. Well, it is uploaded. YouTube is holding it for processing. But anyhow, I'm getting off my soapbox. I'm back off the soapbox. I'm super happy that this is done. Putting a coat of tape on here and getting some other things cleaned up. And then I gotta install a window at some point. But I got a lot of other little things to do. And then I'm gonna go from there. So guys, thank you very much. Like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep me from the bottom of the YouTube bucket. Also, remember this guy, groundpoundercoffee.com. Jim is selling my brand of coffee, Commitment, as well as many other brands, like uh, the Forgotten Coast Canine brand of coffee that's gonna be coming out shortly. And also look on my website. I will be selling my coffee commitment on my website at cknifetool.com shortly. And you can also check out all the new swag that Bunker Branding has helped me make possible this year in 2021. <sighs> all right guys, it's time to go in, it's dinner time. Been talking a lot, I'm thirsty. It's time for a beer. I think I deserve it. You guys take it easy, have a good one. Talk to you later. Oh,